Hello my fellow Cricut owners. Today I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial to fill in objects that are just outlines. So I've started a new project and I already had one on the screen so I'm replacing that to get a brand new screen. I'm going to click the upload button. I already have my image saved to my computer from the internet. So I'm uploading the image. I'm browsing to get it from where I've saved it. Um, I have opened it and uh, with the transparent background you see that there's no cleanup needed. It is ready to go. You can give it a tag if you uh, like flower, outline flower, whatever will help you find it in the future if you ever wanted to use it again. So it's uploaded. I've clicked it to add it to my project and I've inserted and it appears it came in super huge so you can size it there at the top that tells you how big it is width and height I'm going to get it to a more manageable size you can also drag the corners to your desired size but we can get it the size you want when you're ready to cut it but now we just want to see what to get it all on the screen. So I am adding a square, a free image that Design Space gives us the shapes. I have covered my image. Then I'm, I drag the mouse over both images so that both are selected and I'm clicking slice. dragging the extras out of the way. This image is not needed. And, uh, my design space is running slow because of the screen recorder that I have. And for every color that you want to fill your image in with, that's how many times you would need to duplicate what we just sliced. So I have clicked the contour button for the image, the box on the left, and I am clicking every piece that I don't need anymore. So we don't need the outline, we already have the outline. And every piece that I'm clicking that is turning a light gray is disappearing. So we are getting rid of the pieces we do not need. I am changing the color to a dark pink. And that is how you fill in those pieces to that part, dragging over the second image that was sliced, and that's the duplicated one. The rest of my flower, I want to make it another color, so we want to contour, click contour again, and we're going to hide all the pieces we don't need once again. Get rid of the outline, I've got rid of the box. And every piece that you're clicking disappears. It's the not needed and we want those to go away. I wish they had better coloring for once you select, you roll over the part and select it. I wish they had it in a more noticeable color. And here in a moment, I left this part in. Design Space got kind of wonky on me it was where I was clicking isn't what was disappearing and I think it's because I maximized my screen recorder 
I have a dual monitors and I had my screen recorder on one side and when I start recording it minimizes and I decided to maximize the screen and it made my design space go kind of crazy and everywhere I was clicking that wasn't what was highlighting and disappearing for me. So I left this part in because I've had Design Space do that before and I couldn't pinpoint why that did at that time, but I know now why this time it did it. So I'm going back to Contour. I minimized my screen recorder screen and now it seems to be working correctly where I'm clicking and bringing back the parts of the flower that I wanted to keep and getting rid of what I don't want. I had a hard time remembering which pieces I wanted to keep and which ones I wanted to get rid of. So I'm clicking in my layers panel again. I'm changing the color of those petals. And there you go. Now you can cut your outline and your dark pink and your light pink. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me any comments if you had any questions. Thank you so much and happy cricketing.